when I was 40 years old, the church did The Purpose Driven Life, where we read it, all read it together, and we met in small groups to discuss it. So that's when I started going to small groups at Twin Lakes Church. And then the next thing, I started my own small group, and then it the, took it to the next step where The Purpose Driven Life, where you're made for a mission. I said, I'm going to go on a mission trip. So we had the World Outreach Week at Twin Lakes Church, where all the mission partners came home, and I went and um, listened to one of them and decided I'm going to do a short-term mission trip. And I thought, as long as I'm going to do it, may as well go for the big daddy of them all, Africa. And that's when I fell in love with Africa. The land, the people, the animals, but mostly the children. Johan Kambrink came back for World Outreach Week and he said to me that the director of orphan programs had quit and would I consider coming and doing that for a year in South Africa and I said no, I'm a lawyer, I can't do that. And another year went by and he came back for a while again and he said, Lisa, we still don't have anybody for the orphan program. I kept telling Johan that I didn't feel qualified to move to South Africa and being the director of orphan programs. At that point, I was a deputy district attorney in the county of Monterey and my assignment was elder abuse prosecution. And then in my spare time, I was doing Santa Cruz Cares, raising money to build orphan centers. So. I said to God, I'm doing it, God, I'm taking care of the widows and the orphans, what more do you want from me? And he said, Lisa, I have people here to do the work, they need you there. I didn't believe that I was qualified to serve or worthy to serve because of my past. You know, at this point I was 40 years old and I had two divorces, two failed marriages. So I wasn't your textbook Christian. If, if God could accept me and wipe that past clean, then I felt that my church could do that too. And so I was worthy to serve. And I am the way I am for a reason. And my past happened for a reason and I could use all those experiences. Those experiences shape you for what you're going to be doing. He doesn't call the qualified, he qualifies the called. So I said, okay, Lord, I'll go for one year. I'll just take a year off work. And it took me a year to raise the money to go. I went to South Africa for a year and I was the director of orphan programs and I loved it. I mean, it was the best job in the world. Um, feeding starving children and giving blankets to freezing children and just loving on the children. And that's when God gave me the vision to do play, purpose, leadership, adventure for use, to raise up leaders in the schools and in the community, starting with the children. That's when I went back and sold my house in Santa Cruz and everything I owned and moved to South Africa and started play camps. Once I obeyed and I said, yes, God, I'm willing to do this. This is what you want me to do. I'm doing it. The doors just opened pieces just fell into place and I could clearly see God's hand at work making it happen. It wasn't me. I could take no credit for it because I didn't know what I was doing. When I first started, I had a fear of failure. So I continued to pay my bar dues so that there was the backup plan. I could always go back to America and be a lawyer. And after a year or two, I felt that God was saying, you need to get rid of your backup plan. You need to be all in because this is what I want you to do. And again, I, I people asked me, have you done youth camps before? I said, no. Have you even gone to a youth camp before? No. Then what makes you think you can do this? And all my only answer was that God told me to do it. I, I am not qualified to do this. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know that this is what God wants me to do. For many of these children, it's the first time that they're hearing that there is a God who loves them and wants to have a relationship with them. It was freeing to say, it's okay if I fail, it's okay if I make mistakes, because I knew this is what God wanted me to be doing. I knew that this was my, His purpose for me, His plan for me, because I know that whatever happens, He's going to work it for good. And looking back, I can see how the past experiences were shaping me for what I'm doing now. I still can't believe that I'm living the life that I'm living, that I'm living in Africa, doing Christian leadership camps for children in the bush. It's just such a dream come true. And now it's been a year and a half and four camps under, under my belt, and I love it. And I know that I'm doing the purpose that he planned for me long ago. Yeah.